Good morning everybody, it's Charlie and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leeds YouTube channel. Just before we get into it, as always, please make sure you're smashing that like button. It really does help get the video out there to more people. Please subscribe if you are brand new as well. Hit that notification bell and of course get all your thoughts and opinions into the comment section down below as we are now on deadline day. So we are here with a morning deadline day special of Bite Size Leeds. All the latest goings on in the wonderful world that is Leeds United Football Club. Grab a cup of tea, coffee, vodka or beer, wherever you are in this fine world. So yeah, deadline day. This is the day where pure chaos could potentially unleash um, on every club, really. It isn't just Leeds United, but obviously we're only focused about Leeds United on this channel, aren't we? So where are, where are things currently? So Ayo Tanaka, um, if that hasn't been announced at the time that this video goes up, um, then it should be at some point today. That is very close to completion, as he did fly in yesterday for his medical to complete a move to Leeds United on a four-year deal. The fees in the region of about three million pounds. It's barely anything, and you know that is the box-to-box -box midfielder that Leeds United have been craving this window. Um, like I said, Japanese international, good pedigree, played at a good level over in Germany as well, um, and I think can add something different to that midfield, add a little bit more balance because I think Ampadu and Gruev at the minute, as much as they are both good players, I just think together it just won't work um, in the long term. So whether it's Joe Rothwell that comes in or Tanaka, I think, you know, something needs to change in midfield on a more long-term basis because Ampadu is not going to lose his place as captain, is he? Um, so, yeah, AO Tanaka, guys, if that hasn't been announced already um, at the time that this goes up, like I said, it should be announced today. So that is one to definitely keep your eye on. Isaac Schmidt as well, um, full-back. Um, that Leeds United are apparently very close to um, securing a deal for. He actually scored last night um, for his club. Um, so, you know, it's at least he's in good form. Um, but again, this is a name that I really didn't um, expect. You know, it isn't a name that's, you know, been linked or, or anything like that. Um, you know, he plays for St. Gallen. Um, at the minute, um, and like I said, they were playing in a European game last night, and he did score a very good goal actually. Um, so you know, all the Leeds fans were buzzing with that last night. Now, just because he played last night doesn't mean that the deal cannot get done today. He can easily fly in and get everything completed by the deadline. Um, you know, I think Rafinha played the night before he joined Leeds. You know, there was Rutter who came on against Middlesbrough in the Cup, then the next day was heading down to Brighton. You know, so these these things can happen um, that quickly. Um, but yeah, look, in, according to Graham Smith at the YEP, he's seen as to be brought in to compete with Jaden Bogle, you know, to add competition for Bogle on that right-hand side. Um, and apparently Byram is seen as cover for Furpo and Bogle at the minute. So, you know, obviously Byram can play either side. So I think at fullback, you know, if we get Isaac Schmidt through the door, you know, apparently he's going to only be about two or three million plus add-ons as well. So again, it's hardly anything. Um, so it's a it's a very shrewd bit of business that Leeds United are conducting at the minute. You know, Ao Tanaka three million, Isaac Schmidt three million, what six million on two players. You know, it is very smart. Hopefully, you know, they do prove to be very good players. I think. Isaac Schmidt will sign at some point today. Um, that deal is apparently progressing very well, according to the YEP. Um, so, you know, that is definitely one to keep your eyes peeled for an announcement today at some point. And obviously, we have to touch upon um, on Gustavo Hamer. Um, I feel like I'm just rinsing and repeating a lot of the same stuff from the last few days with Hamer, guys. But yeah, you know, and again, if anything has broken prior to this video being uploaded, then I do apologise. But as I'm sat here now, there's no real concrete update on Gustavo Hamer. It's just the same as it was. Leeds have bidded 13 million, which of course got rejected. The deal on the table is about 18 million pounds that can be done if Leeds choose to do it. Could this be one that Leeds try and do on the deadline? Um, 
could they pull the trigger on deadline day and get this done? You know, he's he's only place for Sheffield United. He can easily get down the the uh, M M sixty two car. So um, that would be a serious serious statement signing if we can get Gustavo Hamer through the door. That would be unbelievable. Um, there's a there's a part of me that thinks it will happen just because there's so much noise around it at the minute. You know, championship podcasts are even speaking about it. There's a lot of journalists at the Sheffield end that are reporting it as well. There was even a rumour yesterday that Leeds had offered like 10 million plus Yoel Perot um, as part of the deal. But that immediately got squashed by Graham Smith, um, who said, you know, that that definitely isn't the case. Leeds have not offered Joel Perot um, as part of the deal to get Gustavo Hamer. So, like I said, the deal remains, you know, well, the deal that can be done is 18 million quid. If we bidded 13, just bid an extra five. Bid an extra five. And if you get Gustavo Hamer, Ayo Tanaka, and Isaac Schmidt all on deadline day, then we're absolutely laughing as a fan base, aren't we? If we get Gustavo Hamer and we don't go up automatically, then there's something seriously wrong. But the likelihood is it probably won't happen with Hamer. But then there's a small part of me, there's a naive side, a deluded side of me that believes that that definitely could happen. So those are the three deals to keep an eye on today, guys. Like I said, if A.O. Tanaka has already been announced, welcome A.O. Tanaka to Leeds United. But if he hasn't, keep your eyes peeled for today, guys. That should be announced, along with Isaac Schmidt. And like I say, Gustavo Hamer is the one that everybody will be keeping a track of tomorrow and um, today. Sorry, I'm obviously I am recording this at seven o'clock on thursday evening guys so apologies for saying tomorrow that it's just been one of them days um but yeah like i said guys um keep your eyes peeled for all those deals um happening today um and yeah um there will be a deadline day special with myself and the white wall boys um that will be at about eight nine o'clock this evening um for the last few hours of the deadline we're going to stream it on the white wall channel and on this channel as well so to try and get as much eyes on the pod as possible so make sure that you tune in for the last few hours i think owen's getting a spinny wheel um with topics on that you know to keep us entertained for those last few hours i'm sure it'll be a laugh with the lads as always so make sure that you tune in for that make sure you're liking make sure you're commenting make sure you're subscribing and hitting that notification bell enjoy the rest of your friday and i'll see you in a bit Cheers.